Hello, my beautiful bastards. Welcome to a new series here on Nerd Life. I'm not sure how long the series is going to be, because I'm not sure how long this game actually can be, but I I bought the game after watching some uh, another YouTuber play it, and I just absolutely had to have it. So I bought it. It's $8. I'll leave a link below. It's called Game Dev Tycoon, and the music just came back on randomly for no reason even though I turned it off in the options so let's uh let's get down with this I don't know really know what genre of the music this is but we're gonna use it as motivation all right this is an indie game where you build your own game development company and then you develop the games that you would want you pick the genre you pick the type of game it is you pick uh, what platform you want it on and then you spend the money you develop it your company can grow now, the key is obviously to be the best. To be the best above the rest and so forth. So let's, in, in, in the interest of being the best, we have to be, name ourselves the best company name. Now we have to think, okay, all these development companies that build the games, they have these really cool names or just badass names that say, hey, we're badasses. We make badass games, and you know what? Our company can't be any different. It has to be straight up badass. Now we could just be straight up badass, but that's just too long, too long. So what do we? Okay, first of all, what's we have to think? What things are badass? Uh, that's a good question because there's so many things that are badass. We have to localize this. We have to focus on one or two things that are badass. Okay, so the first one is obvious. It's an obvious, it's, uh, beards. But maybe just take, uh, the, that off. Beard, okay. Okay. We're on to something here. What other things are badass? Uh, panthers are badass, right? Uh, wolves are badass. Maybe not any animals. Let's not go with any. A beard panther or beard wolf will be... Beard wolf actually sounds pretty cool, actually. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, what, what, uh, explosions are badass. Beard explosion just sounds kind of like what happens whenever I have sex, so it's not, not good, actually. Uh, what, let's see, uh, God. What's, what's bad? Chuck Norris? I think that would be a copyright infringement, though. Um, fire is pretty badass, right? S actually, beard fire. Beard fire, yeah. Beard fire sounds badass, right? Hell yeah. M reminds me of Angel Fire, back whenever you would make, like, the worst-looking websites ever, and then everybody would be like, wow, really impressed, even though all you did was, like, make a a, a gif as your background. Uh, anywhere. Uh, nostalgia aside, be beard fire. But you can't just call it beard fire. You gotta call it something else like beard fire games or uh, beard fire studios. I think actually beard fire interactive is the best. Uh, it, it was too long. Damn it. Beard fire studios is probably the second best. Now, obviously, Esh is my name. Is my name. Esh. And are we okay? We gotta pick our little haircut. We gotta. I think this guy looks Swedish to me. I don't know. Okay, we've got a redhead. He's obviously redheaded. Okay. Oh, that guy's got sweet hair. Oh man, that guy's got lame '70s hair. Okay. I think, and I fill in the redhead. Yeah, would go with the redhead. Uh, you can always pick a girl too. So, but we're not a girl. I'm not a girl. I like girls. Nothing against girls, I'm just not one of them. Oh, I really like this sweater vest. I'm gonna have to go back. I like that. See, that's too that's too hip. Nope. Argyle. I'm in I'm in Argyle's where it's at. In fact I'm I'm tempted to just name this Argyle Studios, but I'm not gonna. Beardfire is just too too uh too number one stunna to really not name it that. Alright, Beardfire Studios, ready to Develop some games. Now let's go back into the settings and see if we can get the rid of this damn music. Thank you. Balls. Alright. Okay, the first thing, now I've played this a little bit, so I know how to do this. I turned off the tutorials, because they're they're pretty in incessant. So let, let's just get into What the hell, dude? Okay, that's a bug. Alright, so we have money here. That's how much money we can use. We're losing 8000 a month. I don't know how this fucker's using 8,000 a month. Jesus. There's no way his utilities are that much. 
But I digressed. Okay, the first thing and the only thing you can really do is develop a game. Okay, so we have the option to name our game, pick the topic, pick the genre, and pick the platform. Alright, so first thing, you don't want to name your game until you decide what you want to make it out of, obviously. And we've got uh, some topics to pick from. Look at all these topics. Jesus. There's a lot of topics that we can unlock. Alright, so we've got sports, military, medieval, and space. Now, it's really easy to say, okay, military, medieval, and space are the cooler ones, but I think sports is probably the easiest thing to develop, to be honest. It's a tough call here. It's a tough call. I don't know. Uh, I think we're going to go with... Uh, I think we're going to go with sports. Okay. I know it's not the coolest, but I think we can really get off the ground running with this one. Okay, sports uh, simulation. That's a good one. Uh, and then we're going to go... Now, when we're picking, we only have these two options because it's early in the develop the timeline of video games history. We've got the G64 and the PC, and I'm guessing this is the Commodore 64, and then the PC is here. So obviously, this is like... This is the future. This one's going to be popular for a while. Obviously, it's got more of the market share. But it does cost way more to develop for. Whereas the PC has less of the market share. It costs less to develop for, though. I think we're going to go with PC. We're PC gamers here. Alright, so we got a sports simulation, right? we got to name it something sports. We don't want to go with, like, hockey or football or basketball. It's got to be something really, just really cool, really nice sport. Something that does something new. Because we've seen all these other games that are doing the same old thing. So the question is, what are we going to name this? Because really it tells us everything we need to know about a game. Oh, damn, what is it going to be? Oh, no. Uh... Alright, I've got it. I've got it. Bum fights champion. It's more than one championship? No, I can't. It's champions. Bum fight champions. Hell yeah! It's a it's a game about bum fights, and it's in like a really like a sanctioned sort of uh, league now, where they get a bunch of bums and they fight, but it's legal. Hell, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so we have two options. We could do text based or 2D graphics based. Now, I'm not I'm not I'm not sure about you, but I'm not for a text based sports game. It does sound kind of silly. So let's start development with the 2D. It costs more, but it's going to be worth it in the long run. You can't play a, a text-based sports game. It just doesn't make any sense. Start development. Just can take the plunge and start the development. Now, as you can see, as we do this, these attributes are going to fill the thing. You don't want bugs, but the bugs will be worked out over time. You want the other stuff, though. And research points are things how you can upgrade your whole system. Um, so you want to use those so you research things and then technology and design it you level those up and you're you basically get better as a developer all right now as the development stages go along I believe there's three in each game I can't really remember but three or four and then each one has different things here you got engine on on the first stage though bum fights champions sports simulation engine level one gameplay level one story level one is basically telling me that that's the level I'm at in terms of how good I am I guess and then but you have to decide what balance you want to have so this is a sports game there's no quests in a sports game it's all gameplay a little bit of engine a little bit of engine a little bit less of engine okay let's hit okay now he's going to start coding, he's writing down some notes, he's drawing a boob, and then he's going to type in the word boob, but with eight and zeros, because that's what coding is. Alright, eight, zero, zero, eight. Development stage two. Now on this stage we have dialogues, level design, and artificial intelligence. So first, let's remove this, let's take this down super low, because we only have, the bum fight champions are like sort of like football, you only have one type of field, you don't need, need to be inventive. And uh, it's not like an actual field in bum fights, though. It's more like a, it's like a bowl, like an actual bowl. It's like a big, huge bowl, and then you just like push the bums into it, and like most of the bowl is is uh, filled with with uh, other bums that's that are that are dead, 
Just dead bums from the other fights. <laughs> Artificial intelligence all the way up. Let's make a little, little, give it a little bit more level design there. So the bowl is really, really well designed. All right, hit OK. Design points, research points. Oh, we got bugs. We got bugs out, out of the buttholes. Ah, uh, okay. World design, nothing. Graphic design, pump it up. Sound design, leave it where it's at. Let's move it up. There we go. Oh, that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Beardfire Studios is going to be so popular. This game is going to hit the hit the markets, and it's going to sell. The kids are going to buy this like hotcakes, because who doesn't like a good bum fight? Who doesn't like it? Not anybody that I know, and I know a lot of good peeps. All right, we're, we're pretty much done, so let's hit finish. Now, you can after you finish a game, when the finish comes up, you can let it go, and it'll trickle in more, but it'll also trickle in bugs, so then you have to wait if it does trickle a bug for it to do it. And also, any additional weeks, obviously, are costing you more money. So you want to wait for maybe to get it, all the bugs out afterwards. And also maybe if it trickles in some other points, great. Alright, so we leveled up in all these different areas. We haven't leveled up, but we gained experience. Um, ex we got 13 design and 12 technology. These are our only games, so we, these are the records that we have. Uh, bonus 1.6, new topic, new combo, great combo. That is basically... Oh, I don't really know. Uh, that's for like the 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 type of game, the genre of the game, and the uh, the the general combo that we made with all those things. All right, so we've got all this. We haven't leveled up in any of it. We're getting pretty close though. We're getting r halfway on some of these. We're doing really effing good. Let me just say, we're doing really effing good. All right, we need to release the game now or trash the game. But we're not going to do that. Too much hard work's gone in. Esh, this red-headed version of Esh, he's a... Uh, he put a lot of work into that. He, he coded an entire sports simulation by himself in a, in a basement. Uh, this is probably not even his basement. He's just in like some dude's basement coding a video game in it. The first reviews of our newly re released game, Bum Bites Champions, <laughs> came in. Alright, let's see what we got. Out of 10. Out of 10. Enjoyable. 7. Not bad. Not bad at all. Seven, beautiful. All right, all right. Eight, loved it. Oh, this is gonna. This is good. Six shows potential. All games, you're a stickler and a bitch, but I like it anyway. Look at this score. This is really good, actually, for our first game, our uh, like a, a garage game. Oh, that's actually really excellent. Just erotically excellent. I'm, I'm actually literally aroused right now after seeing those scores. Beardfire Studios, a newcomer in the industry, has just released their first game, Bum Fights Champions. I can't even say it without laughing. The game received favorable reviews, which is good, which is a good start. Beardfire Studios are sure to gain fans quickly. We didn't get any fans from that, which is weird because Oh, we did get fans. Okay. Bum Fights Champion sold 5,958 units in its first week on the market. We made it in the charts at 40. Oh snap, son! We also got 37 fans. Yeah, 37 fans. That's a lot of fans. You could cool off a, like an entire gym with 37 fans. I don't really know why... Oh wait, they're probably talking about like... Actual people that are fans of your stuff, not like... Literally like fans that cool off things because I don't really know why that would be a unit of monetary value fans seems inefficient bum fight champions has achieved a company sales record of over 10,000 units sold this is an important milestone in the history of Beardfire Studios you're right it is man 10,000 in our first game heck yeah we're only in the third week let's watch it let's watch it you know you're doing good if you if you're if one of these weeks goes up a up above the past week. At least we're leveling out now, though. Rank 72 of that week. Oh, we're breaking all the money. Look at how much money we have. We are rolling in the bucks. The bucks are, are on the ground, and we've dived into the bucks. We're now rolling around in them, like, blissfully and erotically, because that's sort of like our thing. Recent market studies suggest that the the Commodore 64 is steadily outselling competitors, but 
Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and the flexible hardware configuration over the other. Now, the reason this is is because the graphics and hardware didn't really matter too much back then. It was all text-based and stuff. But we're going to stay with our PC roots, you know? We know the PC is going to surpass the Commodore 64 before eventually, and people are going to respect us a little bit more. We're going to have some street cred. All right, so let's see. Uh, you can go to game history, and you can see your history of all your games. You get an average score. Uh, you got how many units sold, the cost, the income that you received, the profit that you made, and when it was released. Average view score, fans 103. Top sales rank 40. That's pretty damn good, guys. We have a lot of now. We have a lot of money, 124,000, to really make the game we want. Okay, so what we want to work towards, I think, is a custom game engine. But we do need to just, like, get some of these unlocked as we go along. I think we're going to save that, though. We're not going to do that yet. Bump Fight Champions is now off the market. It sold 17000 Great. We got, we got a whole bunch of money from that. So let's develop a new game. And now we're going to make the game that we really want. Now, let's check what, what we have. So basically, we can make a military, a medieval, or a space. I don't know about you guys, but I think medieval is really calling out to me here. Uh, Alright, let's pick a genre. Now, we can have an RPG, but I don't want to do that yet. That's something that we can do later, maybe next game. Uh, we have adventure, action, strategy even. I don't know what a, what a medieval simulation would really be, but... Uh, adventure seems like the perfect fit here. Medieval adventure. Platform PC. Now, what are we going to call this? You know, we have all sorts of medieval games that are called really cool things. Um, now, this isn't a fantasy game, so we have to keep it in, like, histor historical guidelines here. Um, oh, man. It's a, good, it's a good question here. Swords and... No, 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 no. Winch Master. Winch Master. No, okay. I like it. I like that name, but I'm just not sure it fits here. I'm not sure it fits our, our game that we're trying to make. Oh, what is our game about, first of all? I think it's about a knight, obviously. It's a knight, and he's fighting for his king. And then he falls in love with, with the king's daughter, but he's forbidden to marry her. So he fights the king in a duel. He kills the king, and then he marries the daughter and becomes the king. Oh, king, Kingception. No, 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 no. King on king, violence. No, that didn't fit. King on king, violence. It's got a sub. It's got a sub name. Oh no! Oh no! That's terrible. That is so terrible. Knight and no swords and shit. Swords and shit. Yeah, it's perfect. That's perfect. We we've we've hit the mark there. Okay, we can go with text based or 2D graphics, but we're we have an it's an adventure game. We want it to be cutting edge here. Start development on these 2D graphics. Look at all this. Look, at, it's already going. He's he's working away. He's typing about about 32 words per minute. All right, uh, all right. Now we have to change this up because this is not a sports game. It's all about story. A lot of gameplay. A little bit of engine here. Let's cascade it down. I found that this is a safe bet. It's not going to get you rich. You have to take some chances if you want to get rich. But if you want a safe bet at a decent game, then let's go with Swords and Shit at, with a big emphasis on story and quests. Boom. Look at it. He's, uh, he's uh, developing the shit out of that game. Look at it go. Look at it go. Where's, we got two bugs. We're going to squash those later. All right, now artificial intelligence—it's needed, I guess. It's not like an RPG where it's all linear and programmed. Uh, all right, so we need 
a lot of level design, a little bit of dial. I think we're going to go half and half and then full. How does that sound? Let's go down a little bit here. Maybe not. Let's leave it up a little bit. Okay, let's leave it right there. Level design, artificial intelligence. Got three, four bugs. Now, you can go over here and turn these things off, but we definitely want basic sounds for an adventure game. Uh, but we need to go up with graphic design here. And we'll go up here with it, and then we'll cascade it. There we go. So we've got one that's full, one that's 75%, and one that's like 25%. That works for me. That works for me, guys. World design. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, develop the develop it. Swords and shit needs to hit the shelves. The masses need this. According to rumors, Japanese company Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is known for the widely successful arcade game, Dinky King, which is... I know that game, it's awesome. Many industry... industry, I don't know how to fucking say that. Many industry experts doubt that home gaming consoles will take off, but are, we are eager to see what Ninvento will deliver. We, we can tell the future, guys. We know exactly what's going to happen. One more bug. Let's do it. There we go. Finish. Stop being a dick here. Let's uh, finishing the game. All right. Let's see what we got. Well, that's, that's actually pretty shitty. Let me just say it's pretty shitty. But it's probably because we switched to a completely different genre. Completely different type of game. So, we didn't really do too much. We didn't stack on anything that we really knew. Alright, let's just release it and see how it goes. Swords and Shit is released. Let's see what the reviews say. Come on. The first reviews for our newly released game, Swords and Shit, came in. It's I can't You can't really say Swords and Shit. You have to say Swords and Shit. Because that's like how it is. It's like Swords and Shit. I like Swords and Shit. It's not like, oh, I like swords and shit. I like swords and shit. Yeah, that's how you say it. Reviews for swords and shit. Six. Their focus on story quests serve this game very well. Great great choice by me. I like it. Give me an eight. Give me an eight. Oh, medieval and adventure is a great combination. That's true. That's true. That's why I picked it. Shows potential. Okay, we got the devil's number across the board, which is a great sign. Great sign. We, that's a great omen for our, our company. Let's see how many units we can sell. There's more gamers in the world, so there, there's going to be higher sales here. I, I can feel it. Hi there. We I've just finished Swords and Shit, and I'm impressed by your talent. <laughs> awesome. I'm in the contracting business, and we should we could use your skills. Yeah. If you are ever short on cash, just let me know, and I will see if I have any work for you. Jason. Jason doesn't even have a last name. His name is just Jason. Sort of like Prince. His name used to be... John Jonathan Taylor Thomas. <laughs> he used to be JTT. But now he's just Jason. The artist known as Jason. Today, Ninvento has confirmed the recent rumors. Yeah, they're going to be making that Ninvento to TES. Otherwise known as the Nintendo NES. As you can see, we're selling all sorts of units over here. We don't have time to watch the numbers, though, here, guys. We are at 44. We need 50. This is the perfect time to actually do a new topic, because not only do we still need to do one more project to get our research points up to 50, but we're going to have enough that it, it will both make up for the 10 we're about to spend on this and also get over 50. So this is the perfect time, right in between, for us to pick a new topic to unlock. And I think the obvious choice here is going to be sci-fi. We need to go a different direction than medieval with our second game. What The plan is we're going to develop a medieval game, and then we're going to develop a sci-fi game, and then we're going to make a part two to the medieval game. And people will be like, oh, nostalgia. I've got a nostalgia boner for this, this sequel that I played bef before. You have successfully researched a new topic, sci-fi, science fiction. Now what are we going to make this thing? Let's make a game. We've got a ton of cash, just an absolute ton. So let's uh, let's develop a new game. Okay, topic: sci-fi, sci-fi action. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. No, I think I don't even know. Action or RPG? 
It's tough. It's a tough call here. Ah, we could we could totally break the mold of the fantasy RPG with this. Let's do it. Let's do it. PC, and now we have to name it. Okay, our, our, our medieval game was called Swords and Shit, so this should be called Lasers and Things. <laughs> lasers and Things. Yeah. All right, let's do it. 2D graphics. Let's make this happen. Ash, little Ash, little redheaded son of a bitch, Ash. All right, all right. So we've got a sci-fi. Uh, yeah, that's about right. Let's go with a little bit more engine here. A little bit less gameplay. There we go. That looks good. All right. Swords and shit is now off the market. It sold fourteen thousand. That's a little bit more than our other one, and it generated a bunch of cash. Just a, a shit ton of cash. Oh yeah. Uh, dialogue. Pump it up. Level design a little bit down. Quite a bit down. Artificial intelligence. Way down. Let's put that down there. Let's put it right here. That's good. There we go. Perfect. Cascade it. Let's cascade it. We're gonna wash it just like a dish with the, with the cas cascade. All right, all right, let's see. World design, eh, middle. Sound, eh, it's about right. I think this is, act no, we don't need a lot of graphics here. Let's uh, let's pump this up a little bit. Let's even those two out. Let's even, you know what, let's just, let's just pump them all up here. Let's make it exactly even. Maybe a little bit less graphics and a little bit less sound. How about that? That's perfect. I think that's perfect. I don't even care if you think it's perfect, but I think it's perfect. Hi, I'm Caroline Richards from the local news. I've heard rumors that you're already working on your next game and would love to do an interview about this. Do you have some time? You're damn straight. You're damn straight I have some time. Thank you. She just, that's, that's the interview. She just is like, oh, you want to do an interview? I'm like, yeah. She's like, great, thanks. She just leaves. And it's just a, it's just an article about asking me if I want to do an interview. Local news. Beard Fire Studios, a local startup, is trying to make it big in the gaming industry. The company has already published two games and is working hard on their next. In, er in an interview, founder Esh said that the next game is going to be a sci-fi RPG game, something the company has not done before. It's great to see small co small local companies entering exciting new industries. All the best of luck to Beardfire Studios. In the newspaper, son of a bitch, developing a great game is not the only recipe. For Why is the tutorial one? The beginning of your career is hype. Okay, so we got our hype system in, and we randomly will get hype. But later on, we can do advertising and stuff, and we unlock it to sort of control the amount of hype that we get. All right, let's finish it. Oh, we broke the records. Weird. This is this is the game. I think this might be the game. It might be the game. This could be the Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> That's the worst. That's the worst fucking game, guys. All right. Are we ready to release it? Because we just leveled up like everything except for dialogues. We leveled up to the brim. It's we're overflowing with levels. So let's just hit release. And the TES is now out. Sweet. We're not gonna bother with it. The first reviews of our newly released game, Lasers and Things, came in. Let's let's see what we got. If we're not getting nines and tens, oh snap, son! Eight! Yeah! All right. Ten. Ten, ten. It's an eight. There we go. Ten. Ten, 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 ten. Ten. Nine. That's pretty good. Outstanding. Great. Very enjoyable. Played it for days. Outstanding game. That's what I'm talking about. This is the Bioshock of all games. Everybody's afraid to give it a ten, even though it deserves one. Hell yes. All right. So we're selling like... It's selling like hotcakes. Like... I know how hotcakes sell. It's super fast. So hotcakes just sell out almost immediately as soon as they're out of the freaking oven. And you know what? Lasers and things is abs it's just dominating the market right now. I can just smell the cash. It smells like it smells like a I don't even know what it smells like. It smells delicious. It smells absolutely delicious. All right, so we got 
We've got a ton of money here. We've got $250,000. That is a lot of freaking money. Let's check our, our history here. Lasers and things is already at 21,000.9 and it's not even done yet. All right. All right, let's see um, what the other ones are at, where we're at, so we can see how we can compare. Oh, swords and shit was only at 14. And, oh, bump bites actually outsold. Bump bites was 17. So we're actually beating all of our records with uh, lasers and things. And the average review is at 8.5, which is absolutely, it's, it stuns me. It stuns me so that I can't control my bowels and then I'll shit my pants. Lasers and things is now off the market. It sold 21,000, almost 22,000. Hell yeah. We have so much money right now. We have so much money. And we could we could research our yeah, let's do it. Let's let's make an engine. Okay? Let's do it, redheaded ish. Redheaded ish is on the is on the case. He's a he's building his own game engine. It's it's a huge deal here. Now let's think about it, because I think you can name it. I, I hope